So if you've been living under a rock the last six months, uh, you probably don't know who this person is. His name is E2 Smooth. He's a diamond with a 0.5 KD and he's on console. Now, a lot of controversy is just around his name, a lot of negativity. And to me, it seemed a little bit like the community was overreacting. Sure, he is a 0.5, but there's no way he can just have this much negativity going around his name. So I decided to sit down and ask him around seven to eight questions. I just want to see his insight and opinion on some of the questions people in the community have asked. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I kind of want to clear up his name because I don't think uh, in this much negativity should be around one person's name. And I just want to see where he sits. By the way, he is not Zim on console. He played and used it once uh, in an unranked match. And he's confirmed that and he's not ever going to switch to Zim. He is on controller. But all his links will be down in the description. And I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. So be sure to come check me out. I will also be doing a VOD review on an E2 Smooth game so I can actually help him get better. If you guys are interested and want to see that type of content, uh, try to get this video to 1,500 likes in the next 24 hours, and I'll be sure to do it. Let's get right into it. Certain amount of questions, just see your perspective. Um, most of these came from like uh, TikTok and my Discord. Uh, the, but the first question for you, it comes from me actually. Uh, when did you start playing siege how did you become known in the community because like for me when i switched from xbox like jinxie wasn't around you weren't around like a whole group of people weren't around and it's like all of a sudden once tiktok came out uh your name just started going crazy yeah uh so basically two seasons ago i i, I mean i streamed since like september of 2020 mm -hmm. and uh, so I, I got into Siege like in October, I just started playing like in gold, so probably just streaming, you know, and then, uh, then I, I kind of blew up, I was doing hosting scrims and stuff like that on Xbox, and, uh, I was averaging like 100 viewers, and then, uh, it just started blowing up after me and Jinxie, you know, played, uh, I started getting a lot more followers, viewers, and then basically I just blew up, and then, uh, my KD, people started looking at my KD, and... <laughs> then that's when everything really became toxic and stuff but uh yeah that's uh how i got into siege yeah because i'll be coming in your chat here and there bro and like people will be saying the dumbest stuff man and it, it like i don't even know like even some of the stuff that people say about you it just doesn't seem like your character from what i've seen and i talked to you um yeah but yeah uh next question somebody said why does he have a high ego for a for for being carried hold up when it comes to the ego thing what do you think people th why did why do people think that you have an like an ego? I mean, a lot of the times I'm just messing around by like saying like I'm the goat and stuff after I get like a clutch or something. Most of the time I'm just messing around, man. So that's what yeah. that's why people think you have like this ego. Yeah, I uh, I'm obviously like a clad gold play gold player, so I have no like I really don't have a serious ego. Like I obviously don't belong in diamond. Okay, here's the thing I noticed about the Siege community. They take literally everything way too serious. Like, even even when it comes to just hyping yourself up, man. Like, it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like, everybody's going to have a negative opinion about you, especially as you grow. Like, I, the, the amount of things people say to me is actually, like, insane when it comes to hatred. You really just got to, like, ignore that stuff. Um, Somebody said, how come I only hear negative things about you and I've never heard of you unless it's someone talking bad about you? Uh, most likely because there's a lot of uh, people that are upset that I hit such a high rank while being carried and, you know, not boosted because boosting is unranked, obviously. Mm -hmm. I actually, like, play with champs and diamonds on their mains and stuff. So a lot of people are mad about my, you know, my KD being so low and my rank being so high. And the, just the fact that they can't hit that rank. But uh, that mainly is what most of it comes from. Yeah, so it's like an, it's like an envy thing because I see a lot of people in, like, comments talking about yo man i should be plat and like e2 got diamond like what's going on so yeah, the majority of my comment section uh somebody said at what point does kd matter when it's in the negative and what is considered carried in your opinion uh i would say that the point where when you're in a ranked match and it comes down to where you need to get that kill and you don't get it your aim is that bad that's when it becomes a problem because honestly my point is my aim my problem is my aim and if i win more of my gunfights i could be champ but i don't why do you why do you think you don't win your gunfights is it just your aim yeah it's my aim i, I used to change my sense around way too much my sensitivity in my opinion and this just comes from like a majority of players when it comes to them to not winning their gunfights i think it's positioning 
That's why I really wanted you to send me like a VOD and I would really still like you to because I'd like to look at your positioning and how you're taking gunfights. Because yeah. I, I know like a lot of people like even talking shit to you can definitely get in your mental and you can definitely like throw you off in terms of especially streaming man i feel that like if you potato once or like you know you choke a kill you know people are in the chat you know trolling and shit it's gonna get to your mental so i i really think it's positioning more than anything if I, i've never seen your aim I, i've watched like a few of your streams and i had a dip out of there people would be trolling way too much in that chat um but i would really like to see a vod from you so i can actually look at your positioning yeah i cannot send you that right after the stream all right hopefully. Uh, somebody said, how is Ash support? Like, people kept saying in the comments that you think that Ash is a support operator. Yeah, that just goes into the part of the ego thing. Like, that's all a joke. Ash is obviously a fragger or flex based on how you use her breaching uh, charges. That's obviously just a joke. I don't actually think <laughs> Ash or... <laughs> Wait, when do you... What, what type of, like, scenario are you saying that type of stuff? Like, are you on TikTok, on, like, like streams? Uh, like, what? Mainly, I just troll, just okay. troll around. Yeah. Much. See, People take everything like you said. Yeah, like uh, th that's honestly how I, I saw like Jinxy, for example. Um, like he started like gaining a lot of traction because uh, on TikTok. Like he's like on TikTok, people would say like I main like like Frost and whatever, and then like the very first time I've seen him do one of those videos was like the Frost, and he said like oh, for console players, Frost is a bad operator, and like the amount of comments he got and traction, like it's actually very smart marketing. It's kind of like uh six and nine, you you know six nine literal yeah, it's the same like layout, so it's actually very smart. Yeah. Uh, next question is how many se how many more seasons do you think you'll uh need to play until you're going positive in plat slash diamond lobbies do you ever s plan on seeing what would happen if you didn't play with m and k stacks all right so the first part of that question is uh about the positive in plat diamond lobbies no so i right, right now in uh plat three lobbies i could go i can maintain a 0 0.9 1.0 right now in plat strictly plat three lobbies but plat two plat one diamond my aim and uh you know my overall i'd say my game sense is pretty good it's just my aim and positioning needs a lot of work if i'm gonna maintain a one point on those lobbies it's gotta get better quick and then the last one about the mnk stacks is uh basically on console it's very very difficult because literally 80 i would say 85 percent of the champ diamond player base is mnk so if you can find me a five controllers, I will play with them. I I I, I, I want yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. I want to cue in on that. People do not realize how many MNKs there actually are. When I was on console, there was a huge amount in Champ and Diamond. So I can't like like it's it's like tripled and doubled. Yeah, definitely. I think that's part partly on Ubisoft's problem. Ubisoft's problem where they gotta fix that eventually, which probably can't happen, unfortunately. Well, it's not Ubisoft, it's more Microsoft and Sony, and like that comes down to them like updating their software, like inside like their consoles. Um, sadly, it's not Ubisoft's fault, but uh, like people are really stupid. Like when it comes down to MNK, like your favorite content creators, 90% of them that are on controller, they're playing with MNK people. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said, for me, do you think you were having a bad season this season, or do you think you got lucky hitting champ last season? For me, I'm just not really enjoying the game as much as I like was last season. Like I was able to grind and just have so much fun playing the game. And right now I'm having more fun playing on a solo queue account because, you know, solo queue is just more relieving. I can just stream it, just do whatever I want. Don't need to worry about like, you know, uh, stream snipers, any of that bullshit. It's just more enjoyable, but I, I still might get champ. I'm going to try to grind for it uh, this week, actually. Plus rollback is AIDS. Uh, last question. What rank do you think you would get solo queuing? And for Garfield, what is the most uh, difficult things for solo of solo queuing for you? Uh, so I'd say if I were to solo queue right now, I would solo queue to a gold one. A gold one elo. Uh, that's it? That's a, yeah, I mean, maybe plat three. But then again, I still uh, solo queue is, can be difficult with teammates, especially on console. It's not the best situation. In my opinion, what you should do, especially when you like a stream, you should make a, like a smurf and you should only solo queue on it. And like it, those issues that you that you think you're having, like aim, positioning, all of that, that will definitely help you in those scenarios. Because solo queuing like is very bad and especially on console. Yeah. I, I really think you can get like plat two. I'm not going to lie. Like if you just like because you have to self-reflect so much in a solo queue atmosphere, you, you would totally just be fine, man. 
Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll, uh, I'll definitely do that. Think about that. Yeah, you just need to have more confidence, man. Like, I get it. Like, if you troll and shit online, like, it's whatever. It's just people take shit way too seriously, especially TikTok. You have, like, some boneheads on TikTok, man. They say the stupidest shit on TikTok. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for me, the most difficult things for me of solo queuing is really, like, not molding. Because, like, I'm so used to being in a coordinated, like, environment. And then when I play with plat twos and plat ones who don't understand basic reinforcements, communication, toxicity, all that shit, I just don't want to be around it. And it's, it's really hard not to just, you know, get angry at people. So, definitely that. Yeah. Um, D2, do you have anything to say to uh, the mass majority of people that either know you, for some reason don't like you, or new people that's just getting introduced to you? Uh, basically that I, uh, you know, I came off on the wrong foot getting carried to ranks, but I'm actually trying to, like, get better and stuff and uh, improve my gun skill and everything, so I'm just getting better at that stuff, and uh, eventually I will be better, but uh, that's pretty much what I do as a stream, bro. Yeah, yeah, go check out the stream. By the way, this man is not on MNK, okay? Everybody's gonna comment that he's not on MNK. I talked to him, okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, E2.